Hello everyone! Next, if there is a hole in your sock, we'll start off by pulling the thread through. And now after this, wrap the thread around the needle multiple number of times and pull it through in order to make this dot. Now, take the thread to the side and then afterwards begin to loop it around the edge of the tear. Continue to do this and then move on to the other side as well. As you progress with this, go a double layer and then continue to make more and more rounds out of this until the entire gap that is present is covered up. Once you reach a very small gap, then afterwards you may cover it in by using a normal stitching method. As you can see, we are going backwards for each of these. Cover it all up and then this will be a decorative way in order to enclose any tear that you may have. Now, for this kind of a tear, a different way to do it is to draw this dewdrop-like pattern out of a marker. Afterwards, begin to make these stitches to it that looks like a downward-facing V. Add this in layers and then as you progress with it, it will naturally cover up the hole that is present. Do this until you reach the bottom and then if you want, you may also add another stem at the base of this to make it look like a leaf as well. This will be the final look of this. Now, go to the neckline, thread your needle, and then begin to stop the neckline. Now, we are finding a way to make it decorative. As you can see, we are making these diagonal stitches to it that go up and down as such. Continue to do so, and then afterwards, go all the way to the other side on the same level as well. Now, after you're done with this, make sure that you press it all together, or rather tighten it up, and then this will form a different decorative piece of its own. Make sure you go as neatly as possible and as evenly as possible. This is what it should look like. Continue on, and then afterwards, finally, once you're done, as mentioned before, pull it all together. It will form a sort of zigzag pattern that is also decorative of nature. Once you're done with this, make sure that you arrange this in the center. Once you arrange this in the center, this will be the final look of it. Tie a knot at the back portion of it. Do this by looping it multiple times and then pull it through. Next, as you can see, there is a hole in the sock at the base. Now afterwards, tie this knot to the base of it and then pull the thread through. Now make this horizontal stitch to it and then afterwards continue to make these horizontal stitches. Go wider and wider as you progress with it. Now, as you can see, we will only be pulling in the edges of it, that is, stitching only the edges of it, even while trying to cover this up. Add this in layers. Now, once you reach the top of it, you may make it narrower again. After this, thread another needle and then use a different color this time. Now alternatively push this through and we have used the color purple in order to do so. As you can see, we are doing this once again go in this check shape now after you go all the way through it will look like another decorative piece now it'll stand out from the rest of it this will be the final look of it as far as possible make sure that there are no gaps present now for our next sewing design we'll start off by taking this thread and then thread the needle go to the ending of the sleeve or rather the beginning of it and then slowly begin to stitch it as such as you can see we are pulling it through right the middle and then afterwards we are making these horizontal stitches out of it continue to do so and then continue to go wider as you progress with it as you can see we have made a marking out of a black marker and then we are following this marking continue to go wider and wider and then afterwards once you reach the top make sure that it is as even and neat as possible continue on with this and then afterwards once you reach the top of it you may tie a knot to it as well that is is before you tie the knot however tighten it all up so that it makes it look like there is no stitching there and the gap is also still fixed will help with sizing issues and other such issues make sure that all of the threads are pulled as well when it is pulled in such a case thank you for watching